I am Sophie. We are back with more unraveling and more diving in to more Sophie videos. And Leon Lush responded to everything finally, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that as well. Uh, last time we left off, Sophie had been captured by Mark, Lara, and Hate. Plum was killed by Mark. Ben was nowhere to be found, and uh, we all were left in a state of what the heck did I just watch? <laughs> uh, first, let's stop by the Instagram. We had this lovely shot uploaded with the caption, "I can see you." Um, a phrase that has been repeated several times throughout the series. Uh, then this shot is an additional identical shot that was previously uploaded, only instead of Sophie on the car, it's Lara. Same outfit, same rich bitch demeanor. The caption reading, Life's trials will test you and shape you, but don't let them change who you are. This is ironic because of the obvious fact that Lara is replacing Sophie in this scenario that's been playing out. The next shot is another identical photo with mild alterations. The peace sign from earlier in the Instagram has flipped around. Now, before the new videos were dropping to show more clues, the subreddit for I am Sophie was going nuts. We looked for clues uh, everywhere we possibly could. Someone noticed Sophie unfollowed everyone besides Leon Lush. I went to his Instagram speculating that maybe he was involved somehow since like he was the only one that they were following. Um, and like that's just it's just weird so, to do that. So I, I just went and I snooped around trying to see if he was somehow involved in the ARG and maybe tried to promote it through his channel because he has a pretty big audience. I found this image on his Insta with a strange shadow figure in the back, which he actually responded to. An ARG is an interactive network narrative that uses the real world as a platform and employs transmedia storytelling to deliver a story that may be altered by players' ideas or actions. I'm sorry that I didn't know this was an ARG. An entire community of ARG enthusiasts has sprung up on Reddit to follow this story closely as it unfolds. I've also seen a bunch of questions and theories about whether I'm involved somehow, whether I got paid to promote it, or if I'm one of the characters, because the timing was a little bit suspicious. And a few others spoke about theories involving him as well. Theory, Leon Lush is involuntarily involved with this. So yeah, I think we can all agree it's a bit weird. She only follows him on social media, which might make people think he's involved. I, however, think that the hate Leon gave Sophie at first is kind of what fuels the handman, and that's why she's only following him now because he was hating on her. That's what gives him his strength. I don't think Leon himself is involved hands-on, but I do think he got dragged in and will have something to do with all of this, even though he's probably not even aware of it right now. Next, let's jump into the videos a little more. In the next video, we see the opening trailer for the channel. This time, the focus is entirely on Lara. She's with um, the model from the first time around with, that posed with Sophie. She's doing the narration with various shots of Sophie in pain throughout. At the end, we see the same shot of the bearded man from the Instagram. The young, rich, powerful merch shows reversed to read old, poor, and weak. The title of this video is backwards from the original one. They're doing a lot of like mirroring effects and backwards things. Then in the latest addition to the guide to being young, rich and powerful, we are shown a lot of things in a short amount of time. There's a lot to take in here. Several hate comments show um, crossed out images of Sophie. Lara reenacting the original video, only she's seated in the disgusting, like, abandoned-looking room with blood on her. Clips are shown of her laughing at Sophie, laughing over her pain. She's filled with hate, just like the monster we see appear time and time again. There are several comments shown in YouTube font, which could be actual comments or fabricated ones to help prove the, a point of the story. Uh, Lara gives a tour of the jet. She's lip syncing to Sophie's voice. Speak the speaking and, and the timing are purposely not synced up right. So here we have um, our cream leather seats. It's like a really good leather. I think it's from a cow. 
um, and their skin is meant to be a lot softer, so it is really comfortable. Business is a massive word for me. She shows the photo of her dad again, and it glitches showing Hate and Lara before going back to Lara and Sophie's dad, uh, which is an interesting uh, concept. We see several shots of Lara and Plum together. Lara posing in photo shoots just as Sophie did before going back to the static. So I, I don't know what the significance of that is quite yet. So here's some things that I personally take from the whole thing. Uh, one of the phrases Sophie repeats is, am I being real? Am I being me? Uh, life's trials will test you and shape you, but don't let them change who you are. I think that the hate character might embody self hate in the fact that influencers often lose themselves in their quest to please an audience. Um, they are basically all the same. They do like all the same kind of things and they're basically replaceable. They come in, they come out trying to please an audience, losing themselves in that process. Different quilts cut from the same cloth, essentially. Uh, they look different, but ultimately do and say the same things. Lose their individualism to the algorithm that sells skimpy clothes, flex the money, flex the big house, talk about how woke you are, appeal to sponsors, be Instagram brandable, that kind of thing. Uh, if I had to take a guess anyway, that's that's kind of what I think it's it's going towards. There are tons and tons of people on the subreddit who are going over their own theories and I am living for it. It's really cool. If you uh, have time, you should check it out. Uh, some people have said that um, I am Sophie's about cancel culture and a bunch of other things, which are cool. This ARG includes live streams with binary code that reads out phrases like, in this place, your hate will bloom, but it will find a new face soon. And QR codes that read, in binary to it's not over. This kind of thing has got me hooked. I'm very immersed in the Reddit and the story. I'm really happy that I was able to jump on this in the beginning so I can kind of like see how it's all playing out and enjoy the ride and having fun solving the mysteries with everybody else. Cause when you binge watch these, <sighs> when you binge watch these kinds of things uh, afterwards, you kind of, you miss a lot of the mystery because it's already solved, it's already done. But if you have the time, because most of us are quarantined, uh, check it out. Seriously, I think it's really worth the watch. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like my content, leave a like, feed me a sub, and join the Scripps army. Numbing the pain with constant killer content. And I'll see you next time. I said I got this, I'm in it I'm held up filthy, so I got this, I'm winning I'm not a quitter, so I'm not fucking quitting Just try to stop me and you'll drop dead missing I'm on my way to the top now, I'm missing